Experience astral projection as you transform eyes into prismatic nebulas with these ultra blendable, hyper wearable hues. 10 cosmically creamy pigments venture from iridescent amethyst and solar bronze to shocking pink coral. Six futuristic finishes, velvety matte, mesmerizing metallic, and luminous shimmer, mind-altering duochrome sparkle, and transcendental triochrome. Yes, mother, yes, yes, say that. Transcendental triochrome. Y'all not getting this. Let you gleam, smolder, and shape your way through a galaxy of looks. All shades are formulated with next generation technology to ensure seamless blendability and exceptional wear on every skin tone. <sighs> on Mondays, we McGrath. Brown Girl Bella. who does it better than mother pat for giving us in her her description of her palettes that kind of imagery that just transcends oh this mat contains da 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 da, da and this palette is da 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 da, da. no mother brings it to you okay okay Let's get into Mothership 9, The Utopian Dream. So I'm going to first start off by sharing with you the palette. And yes, it's been dipped in. It's been loved. Yeah, check that out. Are we transformed yet? Have you been transformed? No, not quite. Sit back. We'll, we'll get there. Trust me. Okay, so mother didn't give us descriptions in her palette, but let's just start off with these beautiful mattes. We're going to start off with Secret Eden, which is this one right here. This is how Secret Eden looks. Then we're going to go Shockwave. That's the other mat. And the final mat that she gives us in this palette is Extreme Plum Noir. So those are the matte shades. Now let's go with the shimmer shades. Hold please. Let's give you the shimmer shades, right? Starting with this one all the way at the end, this is Skin Show Nude Ecstasy. That's the first shimmer. So Skin Show Nude Ecstasy is actually the only shimmer shade in here. The rest are metallics and trio chromes and duo chromes. So let's go into the metallics starting with Bronze Solaris 005. Bronze Solaris 005. That is a metallic shade. And the other metallic shade in here is Cosmic Bloom, which is a little softer to the touch than the bronze. But those two are the metallic shades. 
Now let's get into the Trio Chrome. There's one in here. It's called Blitz Sextreme. And that is this one down here. This is Blitz Sextreme and it is a Trio Chrome. Look at that. Sextraterrestrial and this. Oh my God. That would probably be amazing. And then for Duochrome Sparkle, we have Astro Venetian Orchid, which is here. This is a Duochrome. Oh yeah. And then Astro Amethyst Moon, which I think is now starting to be my favorite in this palette. There we go. Oh my gosh. Amazing. And then Glimmering Metallic, we have Bronze Desire, which is this right here. This is another metallic, but she labels it as a gleaming metallic. And look at that. That is beautiful. Okay. So these are all the shades. That's all of them grouped into their finishes. So <laughs> I'm going to wipe this off and we're going to start dipping and doing. We're going to use her foundation in number 24. This is MD Medium Deep 24. All right. Now we're going to use the Sonia G brush. This is the base brush. I'm going to use this all over, including underneath my eyelids and all over my face. going to go in with the MD24 in concealer. I'm just going to do underneath my eyes, around my mouth, just adding a little bit more coverage. go. So now that we have our foundation on and we added a little bit more coverage with the concealer, let's get into the eye look. So the first eye I'm going to do is this eye here, the right. And instead of using the wand which I also bought which is fantastic by the way it has a push here at the bottom so you can let the product up just let it up a little at a time so you don't use too much but for this eye I'm actually going to lay down dark matter which is the pigment that Mother Pat has. And I'm gonna lay this on the lid. And 
And this is an old MAC brush back when they had natural hair. And I'm gonna take one of my Sonia G brushes. Um, where is it here? This is the classic crease brush. And with that, I'm just going to bring it out. Just a little bit. Alright, now that we have that out, I'm going to go with one of the, the Gleaming Metallic shade in here, Bronze Desire, this one right here. Using that same brush that I used for the pigment, and I'm going to take that Bronze Solaris and I'm going to put that all over the lid on top of what I did for so this is just going on top of what I used previously which was that pigment shade of mother's dark matter and I'm putting Bronze Solaris right on top, but I'm keeping that edge where I had the black shade. I'm gonna keep that there. In the corner, I'm gonna take a rougher number 28 brush, and I'm gonna use Cosmic Bloom which was this shade right here, Cosmic Bloom. And I'm gonna take that into the corner. And just plus it up right there. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna go back to that black color using that same Refer 28 cleaned off. And I'm going to run that dark matter along the back half of my lower lash line and just plus up that triangle on the side where I had the dark matter. Just making that a little bit more prominent. So we got a nice smoky look going on on this side. Now if you want to use Mother Pat's new product which I believe is like a stick version of that Myron that she always uses. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Myron, My Myron. I'm gonna put this all over the eye. That, I love that color. All right, and for this side, I'm going to do Bronze Solaris. 005 using my finger and I'm just going to tap that in you see how bright using that stick or that wand as, as mother says using that wand is just fantastic to get this 
shade on because it feels a little dry to the touch but when you add that wand to it it looks fantastic I'm gonna clean off my brush again this is the same Sonia G classic crease and I'm just gonna use the side of the brush just to shape it a little bit that bronze shade I'm going to use the extreme plum noir that matte shade at the bottom right here I'm gonna use that shade and I'm gonna put that right underneath the lash line and again bring it up and over the crease line all right I'm gonna clean off the rest of the face and throw on some lashes so we can finish off this McGrath look all right lashes are on let's get these lips started hold please this is another one of mother's lip trans this is in divine romance which I think would look nice with this look There we are. And let's put on our earrings to complete the look. Okay, so this is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this is Mother Pat's Utopian Dream. I'm going to share it with you one more time. This is the full palette and what it looks like. I'm telling you, you can use this in collaboration with almost any palette that you have of Mother's. Definitely, if you have any of the shades with dark matter, the actual eyeshadow versus the pigment that I use, you can use that as a base for any of these, even to help some of these other lighter colors grab on and have a little oomph. The one other thing that I would show you is the inner corner using the Skin Show Nude Ecstasy right in here. So right in the inner corner there. And that's it. I love this look. I love this palette. I'm going to have a lot of fun mixing and matching with other palettes in my arsenal. Um, definitely the um, Fleur Fantasia one. All the ones from her holiday series really last year would be a great complement to this. Also, the holiday shades from two years ago would also work really well with these. And I'll show you in future matchups as we have Mother Pat McGrath on Mondays. So, hope you enjoyed this look. As I said, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, if you're new, you know what to do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tap that notification bell so you're notified each and every time I upload. Until next time, you have now been bellified.